Can't you see this? Hmm? You can test so many things, and they will not work until they do. None of, none of that made sense. I, I got you. All right. Bear with me. Two seconds. Let's see if I can get that chat window to work the way. Video capture device. Yes. 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 Go to the video capture device. I chose the wrong thing. Bear with me. Bear with me. Don't hate me. I promise I was here all morning trying to get this right before we even got started. I don't. I want a window capture is what I want. There's a window capture. That is what I want. You should be able to see that now. You're not. Yeah, I'm going to give up on it here in just a second. Just bear with me. And just because sometimes it has a mind of its own, and it comes in on its own, and if it does that, well, I want you to know that I care. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, it's just it's just not there. It's not, oh, has it got something to do with me over here? No, because it's that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's... Just not working. It's just not working. I can't fix everything. I can fix a lot of things. I can't fix everything. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. It's time for the supplemental. I'm getting all of the sounds out right now, okay? The sniffling, the sneezing, the coughing, the aching, the stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Uh, and that is, that is all gone. Uh, I feel like I watch this differently. And I see that that's there. And if I go over here, you can see that. You shouldn't be able to see that. No worries. I'm going to pull it off. <laughs> go back over there. So that's what you see. Oh, I, what am I worried about? You don't see any of it. So as I was in classic parlance. And I'll just... Just go up here. Why hasn't that switched over? I switched that over a long time ago. I can... Hmm. I am afraid to do anything at this point. I am looking at the live feed on my computer. Oh, there I am. Hi, me. And now I see the box. <laughs> it's a disaster. It is a straight-up chit show this morning doesn't matter it doesn't matter because even though this is just wonkiness at its finest we're gonna have a good time it's uh, it's sunday morning it's time for the supplemental and as we do every week we start the supplemental off with your national days of the week starting today june 9th i'm, I'm feeling just a little at least we don't have that echo that we had last week man that was uh that was a bit of a challenge. Let's start from the top. And we start this week as we start every week with your National Days of the Week. Starting with today, June 9th, National Sex Day, or as I like to call it, Every Day. <laughs> it's June 9th. What a strange day to call National Sex Day. Until you take the extra two seconds and think about it. And you're like, oh, that makes sense. But I didn't want, this is a family-friendly show. I didn't want to push that out on you. So I, I, I chose an alternate. The alternate was named No Apologies Period Day. And I'm like, that's a strange thing to say. I can understand living with the no apologies mentality, but period, firm and firmly, forever, never, you, you should be able to issue an apology occasionally. So I clicked the hyperlink, and to my chagrin, the national apologies, no, national no apologies period day was something completely different. There was no, there was no comma. It wasn't no apologies, 
period, exclamation point. It was no apologies, period. So, you, you shouldn't apologize for having a period. Unless, maybe, it falls on National Sex Day. Moving on, tomorrow, National Egg Roll Day. Mm, mm, mm. As you can see, I have overabided in my egg roll allowances for years and years. Everything is wonderful in moderation. Enjoy your egg rolls and buy them early. <laughs> Yesterday we did our garage sale. My lovely neighbor Sean, he made a lumpia run, but he did not time it correctly. The lumpia was all gone. Remember, folks, there's no such thing as leftover lumpia. It's just lumpia you haven't got to yet. Love the lumpia, which is just the Filipino egg roll. On the 11th, it's National Corn on the Cob Day. National Corn on the Cob Day. Corn on the Cob is delightful, and it's the right time of the year. They're picking them, and they're, and they're selling them on the cheap, so get you some corn on the cob. Now... If you say something like, T-Bone, I don't have a good corn on the cob recipe. I will tell you, that's okay. That's okay. Because uh, if you listen to episode 1219 of the Lunds B Show, I will give you one of my recipes. And it is amazing. Moving on to the 12th. The 12th is National Great Dane Day. I miss my Great Dane. I had a Great Dane neighbor. <laughs> my next door neighbor had a, a, a beautiful Great Dane by the name of Rocky. Rocco. Rocco. Excuse me. He was a blue Great Dane. Big, beautiful dog. I love that dog. And the benefit of being a, par a puppy parent by proxy is they had to do all the hard work. They had to feed him. They had to walk him. They had to take him to the vet. They had to do all the hard work. And I just got to play with him. I loved being a puppy by proxy parent. It was fantastic. I highly recommend it. And I'm a big fan of big... I only know of one, Alonzo. He's, he's got him a big old black Great Dane named Hulk. Man, it's a beautiful dog. I love big dogs. I cannot lie. <laughs> you other brothers can't deny. All right, moving on to the 13th. It's St. Anthony Day. You heard me. It's St. Anthony Day. Now, here's the thing about your name day, okay? Because everybody's got a name day. There's a saint out there for everybody. But if you if you got a name day, your friends will try to convince you that it's your job to buy beers for them on your name day. But then on their name day, they'll convince you that you should buy them beer on their name day. It doesn't matter. St. Anthony, the uh, patron saint of lost things, will help you find your things. <laughs> Just call upon him. And whenever you call him, uh, I'll be there. St. <laughs> Anthony, the finder of lost things. On the 14th, National Bath Day. When I did not have a hot tub, I made it a goal to take a bubbly once a week. Because it was nice and relaxing and it's good for your soul. It's good for your mind. It's good for your body. I enjoyed my bath time. Rubber ducky, you're the one, right? <laughs> but now I have a hot tub. And I got to tell you, I love that hot tub. I put the bubbles, I put the jets in the right places, and it just beats up my back. And it's hot, and it's wonderful, and it's beautiful scenery, and there's birds chirping. I saw two birds a day celebrating National Sex Day. I saw that from the hot tub. You don't see that from a bathtub. If you don't have a hot tub, give yourself a good soak. Put in the bubbles, put on some nice music, keep the toaster away from the edges, and have yourself a wonderful bath day on the 14th. And finalmente, finally, your last national day of the week, National Dog Dad Day. Now, we did have Dog Mom Day recently, and now we've got Dog Dad Day, and I am a proud dog dad. You know this, people. So, uh... Send, uh, you know, cash. Just you know, don't worry about finding me the perfect dog day dad gift. 
Just send cash. <laughs>